Uh, the latest news is that the Comet Atlas is heading toward the Earth. It will be the closest distance to the Earth in May 23rd. Will it collide with our planet Earth? Most probably not. The question is how close it will get. Due to the splitting up of the nucleus, the orbit has slightly changed. And we are not sure yet about the orbit that will follow. I am waiting for accurate astrometric measurements to update this news. In the meantime, you can read this book. Very interesting. This is an, uh, about an object we thought is a comet or an asteroid. But it was not. Comet Atlas already has created a lot of excitement. We were hoping that it would be really bright by the end of the April and early May. We were predicting that we reach the magnitudes minus one, very bright. One reason for that is that it coincided with the coronavirus outbreak. But something has happened since then, as you can see in this diagram. The gray line shows the predicted uh, brightness of the comet atlas. And the purple line shows where we expect it to be at its brightest, early June. But ob our observation shows a different story. And the new prediction is shown in the red line. According to this prediction, the comet will not be bright enough to be seen by the naked eye. But what really has happened? It's a mystery yet. The comet at like normal. It had a coma, it had a tail, and it was getting bright. And we were really hoping it continues to become brighter and brighter. But as you know, the comets are, can be built of numerous boulders and particles. Or they may be composed of several larger pieces almost touching each other. This is what we were seeing after a while. Comet Atlas did look a little bit elongated. And it was strange because at the distance that it was, it should not really look like that. Our CCD images showed several clumps in the head of the comet. And one way to interpret is that is to assume the comet is breaking apart. But is this the end of the comet Atlas? Probably not. Or at least not yet. Some of you may remember 1993 and the comet Shoemaker-Levy. It was a faint comet which broke apart, but it got brighter. It passed too close to the Jupiter and the gravity of the giant planet broke it apart. It became a satellite of the Jupiter, was captured by it as we say. And our estimate showed that the comet may actually collide with the Jupiter. This was actually what happened. We saw it in real time. Hubble Space Telescope was ready to observe it by then. The first impact was very bright. We could see it with the, even the Earth telescopes. And they were happening one after another, each part hitting the planet Jupiter. Impacts created huge fireballs, several times the size of the planet Earth. If there was any living creature on the site of impact, it was wiped out. Planet Jupiter was bruised for several days. So, what about the Comet Atlas? What we know? Will it end up brighter? Or will it fade away? To answer this, I'm waiting for accurate astrometric measurements. And I want to invite you to wait. Wait a few weeks.